Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to an open TTD Spotlight video. Today we'll be looking at the game interface and font settings. Why may you want to change these? Well, open TTD can some part, sometimes be difficult to see. And this can be a number of reasons, but one of the main reasons is you may be playing on a rather large screen. Open TTD and Transport Tycoon originally was designed to be played on very small screens. Something around the 480p sort of era. We have a lot bigger screens than that now, and I used to play in full HD, and now I play in 4K. If you play in 4K like me, this is the size that the menu will look like, and it is way too small to work with. If we go into a game, which you can barely see the options of, you can see that the bar at the top, the toolbar at the bottom, is, is just a little tiny blip of little icons. I almost have to press my face up against the screen to see it. So what can we do about this? Well, there's a number of different things, and the first thing to look at is your settings within your game options. So if we go back to the main menu, and game options is there. Now the also game options is within the game I'll show you in a minute, but game options in the main menu. And you've got two things you can change the size of. The interface size and the font size. Now I'm just going to quickly change both of those to double, just so you can see a little bit better already. And you can see that the font size has forced the game options windows to be bigger. Now, neither the interface or the font size will directly change the window size. The window sizes are dynamic. They'll get bigger and smaller depending on the interface objects inside them and the font objects inside them. So, if, for example, um, you can see these four um, climate icons in the main menu, if I make the interface size smaller, they the icons get smaller for those so that that's an interface element but you can see the font is still quite big and it's keeping the menu looking even bigger and if i do quad size interface you can see that the main menu gets bigger again but not those smaller items in it and you can actually do the opposite so you can do a quad size interface with normal size font if you really wanted to so you can see how font elements and interface elements are both very different now, because I play in 4K, I like to use quad on both of them. Now, if I was playing in HD, I would probably recommend double. Let's have a look at what quad looks like in 4K in the main in the in the game. So you can see the, here the the top toolbar is so much easier to see now. You can actually make out all the different buttons. The mouse cursor is bigger. Everything is much more usable. You can see all the different information in the towns and of course you can see the trains so if you're playing in HD like I said I recommend the double if you're playing in 4k I recommend the quad when I was doing YouTube videos in HD I used to use quad so people can easily see the interface icons on the screen because I was demonstrating things so I really wanted those to be a lot bigger and that is the basics of the interface the other bit I like I mentioned earlier is getting to it whilst you're in the game so whilst you're in the game, you go to the options um, cog, and you don't have to hold down and drag like you do for settings or anything like that. You can just click it, and it will come up, game options, and there you can see you've got the option to change your interface size and your font size right there. So, what is the other aspect of this? I mentioned fonts earlier. Now, this is the font size, which is a multiplier on the font size settings you have in your open TTD config file. So what do I mean by that? So on your computer, there is a file called OpenTTD config, and this file contains all the settings for OpenTTD. It tells the game how things are set up, and when you change these options on the screen, it changes that file to save them. This font size is a multiplier of the font size which is in that file. Now, by default, the font size won't be set in that file, so it will be using all the default settings, but we can change these defaults. To do that, what you need to do is, first of all, close open TTD. It's not 100% essential, but there's certain caveats where closing the game or doing certain things will update the file, and you don't really want the file updating while you've got it open, so it's just best to close open TTD. So let's exit. There we go. Now, first thing second, where is this file? Well, unless you've got a weird setup or any funky stuff going on, it will be in this folder here, your documents folder, and then inside a folder called OpenTTD. So this is for Windows, 
there are other locations for other operating systems and you can find these out on the wiki so go to the wiki and look for your and just search for config in the wiki and it will tell you where it is but for most people you'll be on windows and you need to go to your my documents section and in there there's an open ttd folder and in that open ttd folder you have all these files and there is the open ttd config file now you should be able to open this in notepad or if you have it wordpad or if you have it notepad plus plus i personally prefer notepad plus plus but it's pretty much the same as all the others so this is my notepad plus plus and you can just ignore it if you don't know what that is and just pretend it's wordpad so here you go this is a portion a portion a portion this is a portion of my open ttd config file you can see there's lots of different things written down one side and then an equal sign and either true false some words or some numbers and a lot of this sort of stuff you don't need to concern yourself with but what we're looking at today is this section here small font medium font large font mono small medium large mono these are where you override the fonts in OpenTTD. So you can change the sizes and make them bigger or smaller. So I've just zoomed in a little bit here, and these are the settings I recommend if you're going to start playing around with those font sizes. Start with a small size of 11, medium of 12, and a large of 20, and a mono of 12. Okay, so before you use these recommended sizes, you'll actually need to specify a specific font, and that's where you do it in these four here. I've added four example fonts in here for you, Aereo, Tahoma, Times New Roman, and Courier. Now you can use lots of different fonts in here, and if you want to play around with different fonts, I recommend you go have a look online and Google web safe fonts. This is usually a good pack of different font options, and these fonts, I haven't used one yet that hasn't worked. So I think they should all work. So we've got an example of some various different fonts. And what we'll do is we'll have a look at the font sizes as they are with their default. And then we'll change them. So I'll save the file and launch OpenTTD. So you can see already that the fonts have changed. Now they're roughly the same size as what they were previously. But they're a different font because we set our own personal font. Uh, if we go into a game you'll see a similar situation. There we go. The font is all a little bit different. We'll look at the different fonts in a second. So if we go back to the configuration file, we can go, oh, let's have a look at this. Let's go a bit crazy. Let's change that to 40, 20, and 15. I have no idea how it's going to handle this. <laughs> we'll see. Let's launch OpenTTD again. And there you can see the font sizes have greatly increased. Okay, so even with... If you go into game options, this font size quad, then it has got a lot bigger. Now, you have a perfect example here of why you have to be careful. Because the game options window now doesn't fit on the screen. We've gone too far. Okay, so there's a number of different windows where it's, ju it's just way too big. The fonts are just making it huge. So don't go too nuts. Now I've set my font sizes back to the recommended defaults and I've set the font to Arial. Let's have a look and see how that looks inside the game. You can see here that this is the Arial font within the game. I personally think that it adds an extra thing to the game. It makes the game look a little bit more modern, it makes the text a little bit more readable, a little bit sharper and a little bit clearer. Here is an example of the Times New Roman font, if that's the sort of thing you like. You can see that the font is a little bit more lavish on the styling. Uh, it looks quite nice. Again, it's all down to personal preference as to what options you like to see in terms of your fonts. There we go then. Different interface settings and font settings for your own needs or personal preferences. Let me know down in the comments section which interface size you like to use and which font you really like to use in OpenTTD. Even if you're just having a play and working out which ones you like as a result of this video, I would really like to know. Leave the video a like if you've found it useful, and if you want to see more like this, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And of course, please, please be careful. Don't put comic sans all over it. it it's, just, it's just bad. It really is. Bye!